Here's how to install Inoflu Flex into a residential masonry chimney. The chimney kit consists of two parts. A section of Inoflu Flex, purchased at least two feet longer than the vertical run of your chimney. And a box containing all the parts you'll need for this installation. Make sure you have the appropriate appliance adapter and enough Inoflu rigid pipe and components to make the connection from the appliance to the base support at the bottom of the vertical run. Starting at the top of the chimney, make sure that the Inoflu chimney cover will fit snugly onto the existing cement cap. If you need to, remove any clay liner that might be protruding above. At the base of the chimney, or the thimble area, be sure to have a big enough opening to install the base support bracket and base support. Working at the roof level, or uppermost area of the chimney, trim the end of the flex pipe that will be inserted down the chimney just under the first male part. A standard hacksaw will do well for this cut. Be sure to clean the debris from the pipe. Place the locking ring over the male end of the flex pipe and then apply a modest amount of Centrosarin lubricant to the very edge of the pipe. Slide the male end into the top of the base support and connect the locking ring with a snap. The connector ensures that the joint does not separate under heavy loads. Attach these spacers at intervals of 2 meters along the length of the pipe. For convenience in measuring, each segment of the pipe is 1 meter in length. Attach a rope to ease in guiding the pipe down the chimney flue. Insert the flex pipe with the base support into the top of the chimney. It is best to have help below when performing this portion of the installation, since someone should assist by pulling the flex pipe from the bottom of the chimney as well. When the base support reaches the thimble area at the bottom of the chimney, place and secure the metal base support bracket in the masonry. Insert the nipple of the base support into the appropriate hole of the base support bracket. At the roof level, fit the chimney cover over the flex pipe and attach it to the chimney with the masonry screws provided. Snap on the flex end pipe locking ring to the flex pipe just above the chimney cover. Trim the flex pipe at the top of the flex end pipe locking ring at the recess in the corrugations. A standard utility knife is sufficient for cutting this material. Screw the flex end pipe onto the locking ring, making sure it is tight. Then attach the top of the chimney cover by snapping it down. Once the upper chimney area is complete, install rigid pipe with a connector into the base support. Continue with rigid wall vent lengths and elbows to connect to the appliance itself. Rigid vent pipe is usually cut to length using a hacksaw. Once again, clean the debris from the cut and apply a small amount of centrosarin to assist in connecting the male pipe end into the female end. Be sure to place a locking ring at every junction of the pipe to another pipe or to the appliance adapter. If needed, Support brackets should be spaced a maximum of 39 inches or 1 meter apart on all horizontal runs.